Oh, don't touch that dial. Listen to... Crime does not pay. This is the city, your city. There are one million stories in this city waiting to be told. 999,999 will have to wait as we tell you this one. Can this be Soul Man, a safe cracker? I can't believe my eyes. This must be an imposter dressed as Soul Man. Well, we'll soon see as we join Soul Man, disguised here as mild-mannered TV producer Ed Tarbush, about to read the morning paper. What's this? What does that paper say? Oh, wait till Ed Tarbush reads this. He'll get to the bottom of this. Ed Tarbush, knowing full well the imposter must be brought to justice, senses that the imposter is near. He uses his super X-ray vision and looks through the walls of the building to see the imposter at work. Seeing this criminal trying to tarnish the good name of Soul Man angers Ed Tarbush. He finds a convenient phone booth and takes the pills that change him into the feared crime fighter, Soul Imposter is going to get his. Aha! Soul Man and the Imposter meet face to face. Now Soul Man's got him, and here comes police detective Sobel to make the arrest. Soul Man explains that the crimes he had been blamed for were in fact committed by this imposter, and that he should remain the number one crime fighter in the country. Detective Sobel is about to wrap up another case by arresting the imposter. But what's this? The imposter is telling Detective Sobel that he is the real Soul Man, and that Soul Man is the imposter who is committing all the crimes. Believing this, the police detective starts to arrest Soul Man. Soul Man tells him that he is the real Soul Man, and the imposter is the imposter. But the imposter says Soul Man is the imposter, and he is the real Soul Man. The police detective is stumped. What to do? What to do? Wait, an idea has come to the detective. He is proposing a test to determine the real soul man. Each man must jump out of the window and fly around the block. The one who cannot is the imposter. He asked the imposter to go first. <laughs> The imposter, seeing what he must do, says, no way, reveals his true identity and gives himself up. Well, what a brilliant piece of work by Detective Sobel, and what a fine job of crime fighting by Soul Man. Well, another case closed. Good job, Soul Man. <laughs> Oh no, what's this? Soul Man seems intrigued by the test of flying around the block. Don't do it, Soul Man! <laughs> oh well, maybe someday he'll learn to fly. It's a good thing the detective didn't make Soul Man fly first, or this case would be back where it started. No matter, justice has been served. Be with us once again next week, same time, same station, when we present Soul Man.